Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Today, um, sporting my red glasses, yeah, my red glasses, I like them. Anyway, um, just trying to match. Today we're going to be making some um, chicken that's gonna be cooked in a rotisserie cooker. So most people cook a whole chicken in a rotisserie cooker, but I'm going to be making some wings in the rotisserie cooker today. So stay tuned, because we're getting ready to get started. Okay, so we got our chicken here. I've already pulled out all the little extra little tiny feathers off of it and cleaned it. And this is my rotisserie uh, cooker right here. I've got my skewers that I'm gonna put the chicken on, the chicken wings on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season it first. I'm gonna season it with some Adam's Reserve. That's gonna give it a little spice. That's the Unami Bomb seasoning. And also I'm gonna use some um, Weber's Kickin' Chicken Seasoning right here. So we're gonna, I haven't even op opened this up yet, so I'll have to open it. Let me grab a knife to open this with. And excuse me guys, I have a little rattle in my throat, so I keep clearing my throat because I'm trying, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Just got a little rattle. I don't think I'm catching a cold, but I have been um, coughing a little. But don't worry, it's not the coronavirus. It's a wet cough, not a dry cough. So anyway, you just spread your seasoning over the meat. I think it's allergies, really, because I've been working out in my garden a lot the last couple of days, planting new foods, new vegetables and fruits and things like that. I've got some fruit trees and some... Uh, Planted some tomatoes and some squash and some eggplant and just a lot of different little things. So I was spent a lot of time outside yesterday. I also put up a, a umbrella that I bought. I went out there and put that up as well. So 10 by 10 umbrella is really huge. But it's not sunny today, so I'm not gonna open it up. I'll probably open it up tomorrow. When the sun comes out on Mother's Day. So I'm also gonna put some mustard on this. I should've put the mustard on first. I don't know what I was thinking. Honey mustard. But hey, it's not too late. It's not too late. So you spread your honey mustard all over your chicken. And I'm gonna have to get in there and get dirty. I'm gonna have to put my hands in there. And you know, I don't like getting my hands dirty, but I'm gonna have to do it today. Okay, so get down and dirty with this mustard. And this is gonna be so good on the skewer, on the rotisserie. Yes, indeed, it's gonna be delicious. down and dirty with this mustard make sure every piece is coated well I'm gonna have to put a little bit more on this part this piece is like that piece has a lot of right there you can share just rub it together That's just gonna give it a little extra flavor. That mustard on chicken always gives it extra flavor. Okay, so I'm not gonna put too much on there because I don't want to drip down into my rotisserie too much. So now let me just rinse my hands off really quickly. I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm gonna have to go right back in there and put it on the skewer, but hey, I'm constantly washing my hands. Now I've got this baker's um, twine to, when I put the chicken legs on there, I don't want the legs sticking out or touching the burner inside of the, inside of there. So I've gotta be really careful putting this chicken on here. Okay, that's one. Two. Like I said, I'm gonna tie, tie them down so they won't the legs won't be sticking out. Three. 
It's gonna be, I have 14, so it's gonna be seven on each side. Also, tie-in helps it. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see, let you guys see what I'm doing. Five. Six. Let's see, that's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven on that side. I'll put seven on this side. One. Two. Three. Put a little bit more mustard on there. Five. Six. Seven. So I have, I guess I have 13, so I'm gonna, I mean 15, so I'm gonna put one extra one on that side. Okay, so they're on the skewer, as you can see. Now I'm just gonna tie them down. So I'm gonna show you how to tie, I'm gonna tie one down, and then you guys can get her, speed up the process, turn the camera off, and tie the rest of them down. Just to speed up this video. Okay, so what we're gonna do is grab one wing, make sure that wing part is not sticking out. Wrap the string around the wings a couple of times. Maybe two or three times, just to make sure it's not gonna be touching anything. And then just tie it off. Like so. Okay, cut cut off any excess string you have left. And there you go. You just do that to all the wings, all the wings like that. Okay? And that's the process. Okay, so I've got my rotisserie here on the skewers. I uh, tied them off and then I, then I cut the excess string. That's any, if you have any extra excess string, you're supposed to cut that. This one came a loose, so I'm gonna make sure I tie it back up again. So I'm gonna tie this one. It came a loose. Tosh. <laughs> Somebody just, my daughter just walked in the room and she's talking, so excuse that interruption. All right. Um, she didn't know I was taping, so it's okay. All right, so let me just finish tying this off. And cut the excess thread, uh, twine off because you don't want that to, to start burning. Okay, so this is what it looks like, guys. Now, I'm gonna put the top of the, uh, the top of the part of the skewer on, on here. And I'm gonna put it in my rotisserie. So I'm just adjust the camera a little bit so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. Open up my top. And this just slides right on in. It's gonna slide right on in there. Okay. The roller. Slide it on in. Okay, then I'm gonna adjust my chicken a, a little bit so that they're all See, and if you have any excess skin hanging down, well, you can't see it, but there is excess skin hanging down, so I'm gonna cut that off because that will start to cook and may start up a fire. So anything excess that's hanging off, that you see hanging off, you can cut that off. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys see in a second what I'm doing. Okay, let me just rinse my hands off because I'm gonna move the camera. So, I'm going to bring this camera around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is the rotisserie baker. So now you can see the chicken in there. I have some excess chicken hanging down there, so I cut it off. I think now everything looks good. Everything looks good now. Okay, so we're going to close this door. Okay. 
close the door and we're gonna turn on the rotisserie. Trying to fix my camera. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my rotisserie. And we're gonna let it cook for about, we'll start out with one hour and see where we go from there. But as you can see, it's cooking. It's gonna start to cook. I should have heated it, preheated it, but I didn't. So anyway, that's what, we'll come back when it's all over and see what, what it looks like in about an hour. Okay, we're checking on the progress of our um, rotisserie chicken wings. And this uh, rotisserie is making a weird noise like a ghost is in there or something. You hear that noise? <laughs> Bella laughed at that, my granddaughter, when I said that. But anyway, um, it's almost done. We got the timer. We set the timer for 45 minutes because that's... Okay, we set the timer for 45 minutes because that's what it said to do, so it's almost about to go off. But if the chicken... Uh, if I want my chicken more crispier, I'll probably leave it on for another 15 minutes. But I don't want it to be dried out either, so... I'm going to stop it when the timer goes off and check it and see what it's looking like. This is my first time making uh, rotisserie wings on the rotisserie grill. So we'll see what happens. Actually, I guess it's a rotisserie cooker, not a grill. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, we will check back on the status of the wings in a few minutes. Okay, so the rotisserie is ready. Let's take a look. I'm gonna let the window down, the door down. And as you can see, it's looking good. The chicken is looking great. I just turned it off. So we can take it off the skewer and, and taste it. See how it tastes. If it's not done, we can turn it back on. Let it cook some more. So we'll do that. Okay, so we've got the chicken off the skewer. One, a couple pieces off the skewer. And we're gonna look at them and see how well they cooked. So as you can see, this one is done. This one looks pretty done too. So I'm just gonna cut into it. I don't think you can see me, what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna cut into it. And if it bleeds, we know it's not done. If it's red, pink, we know it's not done. That looks very much done to me. It's tender. Doesn't that look great? It's tender, meaty, and I'm gonna taste it now. Mmm. That's delicious. Look how golden brown it is. I'll pull that string off. So golden brown. Grab a piece of this part and taste the skin. Oh man, that skin is so good. So, so good and crispy. Taste one more part. Wow, that's delicious. Nothing but deliciousness. Okay, so what I'm gonna serve with this is some um, wild grain rice and some green beans. So I'll show you the plate in a minute. Okay guys, here is the finished product. Plate it. You got your wild rice, you got your green beans, and you got your rotisserie baked chicken wings. Yummy. Dish fit for a king. But it's gonna be for me, for Mother's Day. <laughs> my pre-Mother's Day dinner, I should say. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to Ella Dishes It Out. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious meals. Thank you, and as always, bon appetit.